On February 28, 1953, Cambridge University scientists James Watson and Francis Crick announced that they have determined the double helix structure of DNA, the molecule containing human genes. They were aided significantly by the work of another DNA researcher, Rosalind Franklin, although she is not included in the announcement, nor did she share the subsequent Nobel Prize award for it. Though DNA, short for deoxyribonucleic acid, was discovered in 1869, its crucial role in determining genetic inheritance wasn't demonstrated until 1943. On the morning of February 28, Watson and Crick determined that the structure of DNA was a double helix polymer, or a spiral of two DNA strands, each containing a long chain of monomer nucleotides wound around each other. They found that the DNA replicated itself by separating into individual strands, each of which became the template for a new double helix. Watson and Crick had solved a fundamental mystery of science, that how it was possible for genetic instructions to be held inside organisms, and passed from one generation to another. Watson and Crick's solution was formally announced on April 25, 1953, following its publication in that month's issue of The Nature magazine. The article revolutionized the study of biology and medicine. Later, a controversy arose, over the use of work done by another DNA researcher, Rosalind Franklin, by Watson and Crick. Franklin, who was extremely skilled in X-ray crystallography, was able to produce clear and accurate diffraction images of DNA crystals by using fine-focus X-ray equipment and pure DNA samples. In late 1952 she recorded an especially clear X-ray X-ray diffraction image of DNA that her colleague, Maurice Wilkin, later showed to Watson in January 1953, without telling Franklin or asking her permission. Franklin and Wilkins did not always communicate well, so this was not surprising. Watson knew at once from seeing Franklin's photograph that DNA had to be a helix with certain dimensions. He was so excited, that he returned to his lab to draw up plans for models, that the machine shop would construct out of sheet metal and wire. When Crick and Watson won the Nobel Prize in 1962, they shared it with Wilkins. Franklin, who died in 1958 of ovarian cancer and was thus ineligible for the award, never learned of the role her photos played in the historic scientific breakthrough.